Hello friends, welcome to CAD Maniac. Autodesk have launched AutoCAD 2024 version very recently and I have already created two videos on AutoCAD 2024 download and installation process with a complete tutorial. So watch it. And this is the 34th part of AutoCAD 3D tutorial for beginner series. And we are using Autodesk AutoCAD 2024 version for this one. So we have created two viewports as you can see. In one viewport I have attached the image for our reference and in another one we will create the 3D model. This is 3D modeling workspace. So first of all I will set the UCS to front and I will draw the front profile of this 3D model. So I will start with a circle so type C and press enter. Click anywhere in the drawing area. Specify the radius as 50 and then press enter. Repeat circle command by right clicking. Click at the center. Specify the radius as 32 and then press enter. Again right click to repeat circle command. Now take an extension of 100 units from the center towards right. So type 100 and press enter. Specify radius as 25 and then press enter. Repeat circle command. Click at this center. Now specify the radius as 12.5 and then press enter again. Now I'll draw a few lines. So type L and press enter. Draw a line from this quadrant to this one. Right click to exit. Right click to repeat line command. Press shift and right click. Select tangent, click at the circle, again press shift and right click, select tangent and then click at this one, right click to exit, repeat line command, from this center take an extension of 75 units downwards, so type 75 and press enter, click here, go towards right, type 3 and press enter. Click at this points extension, go towards right, type 22 and press enter and then click here, right click. Now select these two lines, type M I and press enter, click at this midpoint snap and then click upwards and right click to mirror the two lines to this side as well. Now I will offset the lines by 5 units on both sides. So type O and press enter, type 5 and press enter, select the line, click upwards, select it again, click downwards and then right click. Now I will trim a few parts. So type TR and press enter, trim the lines as shown, just select the lines to trim. So this is done, erase this one as well, right click. Now I will extend the lines to the circles, so type E X and press enter, select these lines as shown, these ones as well, right click, trim this part, so type T R again, press enter and trim these ones, right click to exit. Now select it completely and type J and press enter to join this and convert it into a polyline. Visual style is set to conceptual. Now to convert AutoCAD 2D to 3D, we will use press pull command. So type P R E S and press enter. Click inside this boundary. Go backwards. Type 20 and press enter. Click at this face, come forward, type 20 again and press enter. Now click inside this boundary, backwards, 5 and press enter. Click at this face, forward, 5 and press enter. Right click to exit. Now I will convert this into a single object. So type U and I and press enter. Select it completely and press enter to union this. Now I will erase all the 2D objects. So I will select it by crossing window selection. 
then press shift and then select the 3D model. By doing so, all the 2D elements have been selected. Now click on erase. Now there is a hole. So type C and press enter. Dynamic UCS should be on because I want to draw on this face. If not, turn it on by pressing F6. Then click at this 3D center. Specify the radius as 7.5 and then press enter. Again give press pull command. So type P R E S and press enter. Click inside the circle and then click in this side. So it is done. Right click to exit. Select the circle and erase it. So we have successfully created this 3D model. So like and share the video if you have liked the video and subscribe the channel to get more such AutoCAD tutorials. So that's it for this video guys. Everybody stay healthy, stay safe. Bye bye.